This is Christian Deck, and you're on CWannabe.com. Since actor Kellen Lutz blasted onto the scene in his role in the Twilight series, one could say his life has been nothing but crazy. In this profile with Kellen, which fans will get a chance to see another side of him away from all the Twilight talk, it includes a discussion of his passion for dogs, what's important to him when it comes to his career goals, and talking about his personal life and how the media covers it. His latest role is in Muscata, about a small town of people struggling to provide and survive. It comes out today in theaters in Los Angeles and on On Demand. How is the crazy life going? <laughs> well, thank you for having me, Chris. Um, how is the crazy life going? I, I like to think of my whole life as being quite crazy. I love living a crazy life. And I grew up being called Crazy Kellen, so I, I kind of just love uh, life a little too much, and why not? But as far as just how busy I've been, it's, it's great to be busy. I'd rather be busy than having not much to do. I kind of thrive on no sleep and multitasking. But shooting, I'm shooting Breaking Dawn right now. I'm in and out of Baton Rouge, and that, that movie's going great. And I've had a busy couple of years, you know, really well-planned and groomed, uh, groomed projects that I've chosen and have a great team who has a great eye. As far as, you know, the path where I want my career to be, so, you know, 2011 is going to be a really big year with Love and Marriage coming out with Mandy Moore, The Killing Game, which I, I love, the big action movie, kind of like my own Born type to, type, to, type to speak with Sam Jackson, and then Immortals comes out, and that was directed by Tarsem. I kind of work with Mickey Rourke and Henry Cavell and, and Frida Pinto, Luke Evans, Isabel Lucas, just amazing Amazing actors and amazing directors and producers, and uh, and then that's when Breaking Dawn comes out too. So it's going to be a big, busy year, 2011, and uh, you know, I'm just really blessed. I'm really grateful. Well, a lot of small towns have been hit hard by the latest U.S. recession. Muscata, that's where that comes in. You know, Falls, a small community where things are for sure not financially easy on the families that live there. Some of the characters in the film are definitely willing to make illegal choices to make money. After being in this film, what are your thoughts on how small town America has been hit by the current U.S. recession? Well, the thing that really drew me to this project is I've I've seen it firsthand. I grew up in parts of Iowa where you see the farming economy kind of digress, and you see the small town. I just went back to Iowa to visit my grandparents for two days, and they live in a small town, Pocahontas now. And you know, there's one street light, there's one bar or two bars, one pizza parlor, and one bowling alley. Uh, Two, two theater cinema it's a small town and when you hear stories when you go to the local bars and you hear how people have to drive 200 miles to find a job or, or to work and then they have to bid and, and drop their rates for farming just to farm and get other acres you know it's, you're in a place where that's all you can do and that's all your, you know, your town thrives on is farming in Iowa and agriculture, and then you, you get. Then I got to go up to the Catskills, and you see a, another, you know, group of small town people where, you know, when when their when their jobs kind of take a hit, what more can you do? You know, you have to drive hours away. You got to work longer shifts just to support your family, support yourself, and it's it's really tough to see, but it's really great to see the hope that these people have, and it's. I don't know, it, it is kind of tragic, especially, you know, a lot of people don't know it, it goes on. You know, living in L.A., we complain about traffic, not, you know, we don't worry about not having gas to put in our car or, or a tractor to farm, so then you have to go and pick the wheat by hand or the corn by hand. Um, you know, it's really eye-opening, and I'm glad, like, that's what really drew me to, to the movie is I've had experiences with that in Iowa. So it's great to be a part of something where you can shine some light on some issues that maybe America or the world doesn't really take notice to. I think you really summed up Muscat in a great way, and I think it's very timely again. So, you know, thanks for the role, and then thanks for the great picture. We could say, you know, the last how many years you've talked your mouth off about Twilight, obviously, and that's what everybody wants to hear about. But more so than anything else, what is one thing you might have never shared with the public about being part of this franchise from any perspective? That I haven't shared with anyone. Um... 
or maybe a perspective that's overlooked? Well, it's definitely, it's, it's a big machine. If you'd like to read or listen to this entire insightful interview, click the link below this video or head over to www.cyinterview.com. Again, that's the letters CY, the word interview, dot com. This is Chris Yandek. Thanks for listening.